say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rocket's red glare at the twilight's last gleaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. And a pleasant good afternoon to you, everybody. Greg Picaveros along with Mr. Chuck Lesko. And Chuck, first of all, the national anthem was sung by your wife, and you know her very well. Well, thank you, Yao. She, uh, she's done it uh, many times, and uh, I think in Tehran was the first time that she did it. Uh, she the was singing in the opera there. The eighth annual wheelchair uh, Olympics basketball uh, game here at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. And when you talk about the, the eight years, it first started off at a recreation center, and now it's moved its way up to Bethel High School. That's right. Uh, Tootsie Moody uh, was the uh, originator. She was the founder of this game, and uh, all the credit should go to her. And uh, she's been a booster and a, a wonderful supporter ever since then. Janice Arena, the um, special Pipe Relations Coordinator for the Hampton Recreation Department has been a big part of this, and uh, she's assembled the players, got them together, and it's been a big confidence boost for the young people as well as the middle-aged uh, politicians that we see out here tonight. I think so. Uh, they, they certainly seem to enjoy it. Uh, I was watching them during warm-up, and I've never seen such camaraderie between the two uh, cities. And it's all fun. It's all in sportsmanship and games. And anytime you can get uh, athletes of any caliber performing it with, for the fun, it uh, really adds more to the uh, entire event. I think so. And if you'll notice, they uh, took the magic and they divided them up uh, between the two teams so that uh, there would be a little bit of uh, ability to bring the ball up court a little faster than maybe we might otherwise expect it to be brought up. But I see that some of those fellas, uh, some of those councilmen uh, are pretty good at, uh, at this. I think they've had some practice. That's right. You see the um, players making their way to the uh, basketball court in the middle of Bethel High School here in Hampton, Virginia. See Bill Fitzgerald, the assistant mayor, Martin Williams, city councilman, who, who was elected in 1990. And uh, it's really fun because it... Uh, yeah, the politicians going against the younger people and uh, boost everybody's confidence up a little bit. I, I certainly agree with you. It's, it's such a wonderful thing to see. And uh, you, you mentioned some of the uh, fellows from Newport News. Uh, of course, on the Hampton side, we have, the, uh, we have Mayor uh, Meadowlark Eason, along with our city manager, Tipshot O'Neill. Uh, double dribble Warnham, uh, we can look for great things from him, as well as from uh, backcourt Simmons. Here's Mayor Eason right there, going in the, as yeah. you see on the uh, TV screen, Mayor Eason of Hampton. There he is. There's Baxter Simmons right there. There, okay. And uh, we're, we're going to be joined by some lovely ladies, uh, Brenda Slam Dunk Taylor's, uh, there's one. Oh, here we go. Here comes uh, Mr. Warnham, double dribble Warnham. And the players, you know, from both uh, teams, Hampton and Newport News, have got on the respective council members that, that represent their city. And let's say Mayor Easton is from a Hampton uh, player on the Hampton squad. For example, Russell Scott 
who represents Hampton, will be on with his team. And uh, mm. it's kind of like basically the city of Hampton versus the city of Newport News, but they're all coming together for a fun cause. Yeah, I th it's, it's really good to see the two cities working together this way and uh, for a, a cause as worthy as this one. And the referee for tonight's game is Bill Petridge. Bill is uh, going to go solo tonight, it looks like. And this is all fun. And uh, as you see, number 21 there, Mr. Warnham. Yeah, he, he, uh, Bill, Bill's uh, apparently refereed this before because he's uh, mentioning a few things to uh, some of the, uh, our participants, uh, apparently experienced from the past. All in good fun, though. Here Bethel. we go. The tip off. And it goes into Warren Garcia. Warren uh, went to Ferguson High School in Newport News. And he'll be bringing the ball up to court for the Peninsula Magic. They're wearing the white jerseys and also the red jerseys. So they're all playing together, except not tonight. They're trying to little competition out here. Oh, beautiful shot, beautiful shot. And that shot was uh, by number 23, Chuck Berry. Not the musician, but the, huh. the basketball player. Yeah. Chuck's quite a basketball player, too. I uh, talked to the coach earlier uh, this evening, and he mentioned Chuck very highly. He apparently, he's really good. Oh, here goes Meadowlark East, and I'm bringing the ball up the court. And it's Charlie Warnham. Oh, Charlie took a shot. And, and Charlie Warnham takes that shot he's, from 15 feet. A little bit too far away, it looks like. Uh, a little bit of an air ball. Score is two to nothing with 16.55 remaining in the first half. And uh, Peninsula Magic on the Newport News side leads the Hampton side. Or would we call that defense a box in one or, what, or a wheel in one? So Marty Williams is out there, the city councilman, and Bill Fitzgerald, Warren Garcia, among others, Baxter Simmons. The shot is up and it's off, and, and Marty Williams gets the rebound. Here oh. comes Chuck Berry. Oh, Chuck Berry on a fast break. And uh, Berry had the opportunity, but it just uh, didn't find anybody to pass the ball to and got stripped away. And here comes Meadowlark back up the court. Mayor Eason doing the best he can, getting that ball across the mid-court line. Okay, here we go. Bethel, of course, this year, folks, won the Peninsula District in football in 1991. And outstanding quarterback in Allen Iverson. That's where we're at tonight. You see all the banners around here. Bethel was state champions in 1974. In 1976 in football, excellent track programs as well, and baseball teams. So both cities, uh, between Hampton and football and Newport News with Medjville's women's basketball team are excellent athletic teams for both cities. I agree with you. The, the Peninsula really has some top athletes, and uh, it's a real pleasure to watch them uh, playing. Uh, Phoebus High School making the state championship in women's basketball. Yeah, the girls are doing very, very well led by Lakeisha Frett, Junior Parade All-American. Yeah. As Marty Williams takes the shot, it's no good. And the two-year city councilman from Hilton Village merely uh, almost made the shot there. Still two to nothing. <laughs> okay, Meadowlark, let's bring... Mayor Easton's got to watch out. He only has 10 seconds to get it across the uh, <laughs> mid-court line. <laughs> oh. Really having fun with Scott uh, Russell there. If you're just joining us, Greg Bicaveras along with Chuck oh. Lesko. Score is 2 to nothing with 15.55 remaining in the oh, first here, half. Oh, here we go. Another fast break opportunity. 
and Chuck Berry, the talented young man, scores his fourth point and the only point so far scored tonight. All right, Scott Russell bringing the ball up. Russell finds Wernham. There we go. Oh! Deja vu. Another air ball. Bill Fitzgerald wings it down to uh, Warren Garcia. Garcia. And it goes out of bounds. And Warren had a chance, but uh, it was a nice pass, though, by Bill Fitzgerald. I just think so. You, you notice uh, they haven't worked together very much, but uh, on that play, you wouldn't know it. Excellent teamwork. Very, very nicely done. Oh. As we mentioned, one referee tonight, Bill Back. Petridge. Here comes Baxter Simmons bringing the ball up. Baxter, a cross-score pass. Oh, we have a substitute in the game now. Okay. David Limerick's in. Oh, Mayor Easton. Jim, Jim Easton has it at the top of the key. Oh, another air ball. Mayor Easton, though, not shy about shooting. Well, he was looking for somebody under the basket. I, I think if uh, the the Hampton team will. Here comes Marty Williams taking charge. There we go. There Williams we go. Oh, finds the hot nice, man. Nice, Chuck Berry. Nice pass. Nice stolen pass. by the mayor of Hampton. Oh, yeah, stolen by Meadowlark. Here we go. And here comes the Peninsula Magic and Hampton here comes squad. David. Baxter Simmons to Warnham. And they're just throwing the ball up for grabs right now. Okay, John Wynn's entering the game now for uh, the red side to see if he can uh, break this deadlock. John's excellent fast break. Ability you might see some more uh, long passes here with John winning oh, the game. Oh, here comes Al Bowling in. The coaches are uh, Melvin, Mr. T. Butler. Some funny nicknames out here. Al Bowling for Hampton. For Newport News, John Fitzgerald. As we mentioned, we have Martin Williams out here, Billy Fitzgerald, Vincent Joseph, Newport News City Councilman. They call Marty Williams Purple Martin Williams. Chuck Berry, we got musicians, entertainers, we have politics, we have it all for you. Yeah. Excellent athletes. Yeah, John Fitzgerald, uh, you know, is the uh, regular coach for the Peninsula Magic and uh, They've had quite a season. They played 19 games this year and traveled as far north as Baltimore and Washington. And uh, they've been to Charlottesville, Virginia Beach, Roanoke, Norfolk, Portsmouth. A so long jump shot there, excuse me, uh, Chuck, by um, one of the Hampton Outstanding Athletes. Score is still four to nothing, and uh, Chuck Berry for Newport News has been the entire score for tonight's game. And Bill Fitzgerald and Vince Joseph is in the ball game. Jennifer Joyner. And oh, a beautiful one-hand shot. Randy Hilton makes that shot. And so far, Newport News leads six to nothing. Here's Willie Boone. Here we go, another fast break. Devince beautiful Joseph. passing, beautiful passing. And Here the chiropractor misses. Whoa.
And Willie Boone shaking it off and laughing, just showing you how much fun they're having out here tonight. <laughs> 10.40 remaining in the first half. It's been all Newport news. Chuck Berry has scored four points. And Randy Hilton has scored the other two for Newport News. Talk about the rivalries, uh, the old Hampton High School football teams have Newport News back in the, when, when Julie Kahn was here and Mayor Easton's father was uh, coaching. Uh, you talk about a lot of tradition between these two cities in, in the Hampton Roads area. Well, it's Jennifer Joyner. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Simmons guilty right there, Chuck. Yeah, he's, he's got to learn to keep his hands on. And the crowd's filing in here at Bethel High School. <laughs> There's Vince there. Joseph. Oh. Bill Fitzgerald. Randy Hilton. We mentioned when John Wynn would get in the ball game and speed things up, and he really has. But uh, Hampton is yet to score. Uh, I, well, you know, the first points are always the most difficult to get. And I, I think we're proving it tonight. Randy Hilton attempts a shot, misses. We're at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia on Big Bethel Road, the site of the eighth annual wheelchair basketball challenge. March Madness is going on, but they're having a different type of March Madness here tonight. Yeah, they sure, sure are. And uh, you notice they scheduled this so that uh, it wouldn't uh, conflict with the Final Four. I'd, I think they were worried about the ratings for the Final Four if it conflicted with this game. Chuck, being a native of uh, Pennsylvania, what do you think about the Final Four? With, uh, will Duke repeat for the first time since uh, UCLA? I, I'm, I'll go out on a limb and say yes, I think so. Uh, when you look at the number one seeds and the other three areas, I, I think that Duke is a class uh, team. And of course, they're, they'll be the first one since what, UCLA? If they win, it'll be the first time since uh, when UCLA won it in 72 and 73. Yeah. As Vince Joseph attempts a shot and misses, and Bill Fitzgerald gets the uh, steal, finds um, Jennifer Joyner. Back to Randy Hilton. Randy off his foot, and Baxter gets the steal again. Baxter seems to be at the right place at the right time, but no points for Hampton. And here comes Big Al. And he throws one up, and we're still dry, folks. Here we go. Jennifer Joyner. Beautiful pass, beautiful pass. And oh, Willie Boone almost uh, a little bit too fast for his own self. All right, here we go, here we go. having their chances just not connecting. Willie Boone to Bill Fitzgerald. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot off the glass. Excellent give and go by Newport News. Score is eight to nothing, Newport News leading Hampton with 6.50 remaining in the first half. Greg Bicaveros along with Chuck Lesko were at historic Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. Oh, Hampton's getting serious now. In comes old Chuck Davis. Bring on the fire department. Mayor Easton doing some coaching from the sidelines, the mayor of Hampton. I see the fans enjoying exciting basketball tonight. And March Madness is definitely here. Yeah. 
There's Daniels, number five for Hampton. And Randy Hilton trying to get the rebound for Newport News. Hey, you notice Hampton's getting closer. That's the second shot that's hit the iron. <laughs> At least they're hitting something, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and um, Anthony Hintz, who underlined his name on that roster, he's dribbling the ball up the court for Newport News. He's number 12. There's Chuck Berry to Vince Joseph. Oh, beautiful. Bill Fitzgerald. And beautiful. Excellent beautiful. teamwork by Newport oh, News. Certainly is. Uh, you'd think they'd been playing together all year the way that they've been passing. Here's Vince Joseph. The okay, Anthony hits. we're on a fast break. Let's, here we go. Here's Anthony hits. And it's off the mark. Anthony. That, that's one time when being unselfish really didn't pay off. Chuck Berry just intercepted a Hampton pass. Here he comes. Oh! And if I, the ball goes out of bounds and it goes over to Hampton. Wheelchair, as you see the glow of the light here, Bethel High School in Hampton. Eighth annual wheelchair basketball challenge. There's really no winner or loser here. It's all for the fun. Oh, I, I don't think that the people, we, the three quarters of them will really know what uh, that Hampton hasn't scored yet. Nor do they really care. The Hampton team does, though. <laughs> yeah. They want to get some points. It's 350 remaining in the first half, and it's still eight to nothing. Oh, the ladies and men both out here pulling a trap on her. Hey, not nice, fellas. That's David Limerick right there <laughs> at the basketball. David on the right side. David had a chance to shoot, and he unselfishly passes the ball. And the first foul, two, two shots. Hey, I think we're going to break this scoreless impasse for Hampton. <laughs> Hampton needs some magic, and they need it quick as David Limerick will be at the free throw line. David playing in several competitions before. And when you do this, you know, it comes easier to you. And, and it's not easy shooting free throws uh, from 15 feet away, no matter how good you are. Chuck, tell us about the um, Mayor's Committee on the Handicapped and uh, some of their special services. Well, the, uh, as the name implies, it's uh, Mayor Eason's Committee for the Handicapped in Hampton. Uh, there's a similar committee in Newport News. Uh, what the committees try to do is fundamentally represent the handicapped in both cities, try to identify goes Chuck Berry with a and Chuck Berry almost uh, scores still eight to nothing Newport News leading Hampton with 225 remaining in the first half getting back to the committee they try to act as uh, Randy Hilton there we go look Vince at that Joseph. Newport News Chuck look, Berry look doing some passing. magic look at her passing look at that passing Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know whether it's their passing that's so good or uh, Hampton's defense that. Uh... And, and Chuck Berry scored uh, four points, and so has Randy Hilton, and Jennifer Joyner had the other two. And uh, they look like a team that's been practicing since uh, October when the uh, college teams have been practicing. 
Well, this uh, Mayor's Committee on the Handicap was uh, created in 1979. That's right, and uh, uh, the members, there are 21 members on, on the Hampton uh, Committee, and they try to go around and ensure that the handicapped have access to all the public facilities. Uh, they rec make recommendations to the city council at, on uh, matters pertaining to the handicap. For instance, the new airspace museum uh, was visited by the council and uh, recommendations were made to ensure that the handicapped will have adequate access to uh, that facility. And David Limerick oh, just and misses. Almost. And Marty Williams gets the outlet pass, but it goes out of bounds. And, you know, there are 24 members, like you said, but Mayor Eason encourages, and Mayor Duvall of Newport News encourage a lot of people to get involved oh, with yeah, the, the, the handicap, not just sure. appointed members. Yeah, the appointed members are nothing more than a, a focal point, uh, but uh, certainly there are many, many volunteers uh, for, uh, numbers far beyond that that actually do much of the... And Limerick oh, almost, shoots it up. Almost. They've had their chances, folks. Yeah, and they've had their chances, but uh, so far... Scott Russell. I, I think if uh, this continues on for the next 14, 13 seconds, what they should do is check to see if there's a piece of plate glass on top of that iron. Four seconds left. There's Here Marty Williams. There we go. Oh, and just out of reach at the buzzer. And time expires in the first half with the score. It's Newport News 10 and Hampton nothing. Greg Vicaveros, along with Chuck Lesko and Chuck, uh, Hampton had their chances to score, but uh, <laughs> Barry Duvall, excuse me, uh, Vince Joseph and company just uh, stopped them. They did. They've uh, they've had excellent uh, defense on one end of the court and, and very, very good passing on the other end. Uh, I'm really impressed with the way they've uh, played the game so far. Hampton has had a lot of desire out there. There's no quit in them, but, and I'm sure they'll come back the second half, but you've got to take your hat off to the Newport News team. And we're at halftime. It's uh, 10 to nothing Newport News. And Greg Bicaveras back with Chuck Lesko. The score is 10 to nothing Newport News as the Bethel Color Guard makes their way onto Bethel High School here in Hampton, Virginia. They'll be wearing their gray uniforms, gray and white. And I tell you, since, um, since the war last year, Operation Desert Storm, You've definitely seen different military attire there, Chuck, and uh, you can point to that being in the service for 30 years. Yeah, the, the, the uh, when they went to the camouflage uniform, it, it's interesting, the psychology behind it. Uh, before the American Army went into camouflage uniforms, you saw a few special forces uh, people with camouflage. But then when the American Army adopted it, suddenly it just, everyone adopted it. Uh, all around the world, they, they, it's as though they didn't want to be left behind. You know, back in the 40s, they used to wear the old green during World War II, basically, the green and the uh, camouflage. And uh, Vietnam, of course, still adopted that area. But last year, during Operation Desert Storm, they wore the beige kind yeah. of uh, yeah, uniforms. That, and uh, Yeah, that was the uh, desert version uh, mm -hmm. that they wore. It's interesting, you, you know, you mentioned Vietnam. Uh, when we queried uh, Charlie over there, the Viet Cong over there, they said that our best camouflage uniform were washed out green fatigues with uh, sweaty armpits. <laughs> and you see the Bethel color guard by Miss Naomi Lasco. For a treat, uh, these 
Uh, this is a national champion uh, drill team. Uh, for this uh, drill team. Uh, then the Washington Capital Center, run by Abe Poland. Ready? We'll see him perform right now. <laughs> we like the audience getting involved as much as possible here at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. Tire, right, Chuck? Yeah, it sure is. Uh, I have a little bit of a feeling for how much work goes into this. Uh, when I was a professor of military science at St. Peter's College up in New Jersey, we, our Pershing Rifles won the uh, drill team championship, national drill team championship, three years in a row. And it was because of the dedication and the time that those boys put into uh, the They would drill at least 20 hours a week. And you can understand why our troops are going to Saudi Arabia back in August of 91, before six months before the war even started. It just takes time to do an intricate drill or prepare more or less for a war. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, there was a lot of uh, logistics uh, that had to be uh, taken into consideration before we really wanted to go into uh, Schwarzkopf, I think, uh, wanted at least 60 days supply on the ground before he uh, began his uh, attack on the uh, Iraqis. And of course, much of that was uh, supplied by and supported by uh, the troops over here at Fort Houston. They were some of the first ones in and the last ones out. And Hampton Roads has a lot of military in both the South Side, Newport News, Hampton. A lot of our men and women both went to uh, the Middle East last year. That's, you're certainly right. The largest naval forces, of course, are in uh, Norfolk, uh, Langley, uh, home of Tactical Air Command, and now will be the home of the uh, all of the, uh, the bomber force and the fighters. And uh, what a lot of people aren't aware of is that uh, Fort Monroe, uh, sitting down on Point Comfort, uh, is responsible for the Army doctrine on how it's going to fight and be equipped. All of that comes out of uh, out of uh, Fort Monroe, and uh, so all three services are well represented. Thumbs up to this uh, program. That's their motto, as you can see, the audience and the spectators having their thumbs up. And this whole 8th Annual Wheelchair uh, Special uh, Olympics program is more or less for a positive attitude and to block all negatives out. And it can build a lot of self-character and esteem. Yeah, and, and it's to show people that just because a person has a handicap does not mean that that person is not capable, does not deserve or can have a full life. They all can. And, and the fans watching the game tonight notice almost every participant has a smile on their face, and that should tell you something right there. Including us. <laughs> Chuck, you've been in Ham 
Hampton Roads now for 14 years. Uh, tell us, uh, coming from the Pennsylvania area, um, what's been the biggest difference would you see uh, living toward uh, Pennsylvania as compared to Hampton Roads? Well, uh, the, certainly the terrain uh, where where I was born and raised, you, you either drove uphill or downhill. You seldom, if ever, drove on a, on a, a straight, on a level. And we used to kid uh, the people from Ohio because in the, uh, they, when I was growing up, it was all clutches. And as you well know, if you're not accustomed to operating a clutch on a hill, it can be a, a humbling experience. So what are the keys for uh, Hampton in the second half here, Chuck? Uh, well, I, I tell you, I think they're going to have to uh, play a little better defense. Uh, I think they're getting caught on one side uh, of the court or the other. Uh, if you'll notice, there were times when uh, Newport News has had some wide open shots, uh, two and three shots, and not a red jersey around. And Russell Scott, you see right there on the TV screen, brought the ball to court for Hampton. They'll be going now from your left to right on your TV dial. There's David Limerick. And Hampton's still not on the board yet. <laughs> As they Willie need, Boone had the basketball, and they now need it's Marty Williams. Start. Beautiful passing and a beautiful basket. Nothing but net. Willie Boone scores right there. And so far the score is 12 to nothing. Newport News leading Hampton. As you take a good look at Russell Scott for Hampton. Hampton coached by Melvin Butler, Mr. T, and Al Bowling. Garcia, Bill Fitzgerald, Marty Williams, Willie Boone, and Chuck Berry for Newport News, not the musician. And Jennifer Joyner is coming in the ball game now. Hampton has T.J. Bryant Sr., Charlie Warnham, Russell Scott, David Limerick, Free throw just off the mark, and Hampton still hasn't scored. <laughs> Warren Garcia down all alone. Ferguson High School graduate misses a chance to score. We're at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. Along with Chuck Lesko, I'm Greg Bicavaris. Glad you could join us here on your cable dial tonight. There we go with a fast. Marty Williams, the city councilman. Intercepts a pass, and here they go the other way. And Russell Scott misses, <laughs> and Hampton has had the rabbit's luck pulled out of their cap tonight. They've actually had more shots than Newport News has. Here's Warren Garcia. Oh, and the ball stolen again. You, you, you. Hampton's you moving the ball. Hampton, uh, a lot of credit for hustle. They're certainly hustling. Oh, we 
tries a three-pointer and uh, gets nothing but air. Score is 12 to nothing. Newport News leading Hampton right now at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. Fifteen thirty-five remaining in this ball game, and boy, there's no quitting that Hampton team, is there? They would at least get a basket before the night's over. <laughs> I think that'll be a uh, victory of sorts for them. Bill Fitzgerald, to Jennifer Joyner, Jennifer to Warren Garcia, and Marty Williams misses the follow-up. Marty Williams, the city councilman from Newport News, falls off his wheelchair but gets back up laughing as you see Bill Fitzgerald. And Hampton brings him back up the court. I'm going to make a bold prediction. They're going to score this time. They could use a few of the Hampton Crabber men's basketball players on their team tonight. Fifteen minutes remaining in this ball game. It's Newport News 12 and Hampton 0. Well, so much for that prediction. Jump ball and the arrow goes to Newport News. Warren Garcia. To Willie Boone. Nice passing, nice passing. And awesome. Willie sinks it in again. And right now, even if Hampton does score, it might be too late. 14 points is a lot. Uh -huh. Well, I think if they Hampton scores, we're going to have to consider that as a moral victory. That's right. Here's David Limerick. Williams and Limerick going at it. And the arrow goes Hampton's way on this jump ball. Oh, Baxter Simmons is back in, I see. Maybe for some uh, extra strength from the outside. Well, you know, he's been a good rebounder, too. And the basketball is coming towards us. How's your shooting skills, Chuck? <laughs> it's been so long ago that, uh, as I was telling Coach, we, we were required to use two hands when we took a shot. Here's Willie Boone. John Wynn, the speedster, and just off the glass, Warren Garcia. And Marty Williams getting shaken up tonight. The score is 14 to nothing. Newport News leading Hampton. Hampton's in the red, Newport News in the white. And substitutes coming in the... Uh, well, we're getting a lot of substitutes now. Maybe this will change the complexion of the game. Vince Joseph coming in for Marty Williams. Vince Joseph now in his second year on the City Council of Newport News. Here's John Wynn for Hampton. And Baxter misses an outside shot. Charlie Wernham had a chance to get it, and you saw Charlie early on trying to make those outside jumpers. Look at that give and go. 
Beautiful, beautiful. The passing for the Newport News team this evening has really been impressive. Chuck Berry, outstanding shooter, number 23, has started to get the basketball. Here's John Wynn. And John went right to the uh, mat right there. You you have to give Hampton credit. They, they There's no quit in them. They're hustling as hard as they had uh, the beginning of the game. And you've seen in college basketball or in any sport, once the team is behind, they have a tendency of giving up, but Hampton's not doing that tonight. Score is 14 to nothing. Newport News and the White leading Hampton with 10-39 remaining in the uh, second half. Greg Picaveros along with Chuck Lesko. And Chuck, it's been a, a pure pleasure just being here tonight at Bethel High School. It's, well, thank you. It, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with you this evening. And uh, I understand you're uh, working on this to be, uh, perhaps become a career. And I think you're going a long way towards that. And I hope someday to get your autograph. Well, I've already got yours. Chuck Berry. And Baxter Simmons has the basketball. <laughs> They're having fun, folks. They're having fun. They sure are. They sure are. Big Al's going to take it in all. Hey, Hampton scores. And one of the coaches for Hampton, Al Bowling, makes the first two points of the ball game for Hampton. And I think the scoreboard stuck on that double zero. Al Bowling, who scored the first two points for Hampton just a minute ago. 940 remaining in this ball game, and it's been a pleasure. Hampton in the red, Newport News in the white. Isn't this a great way to spend uh, an evening uh, watching these uh, athletes performing? As you mentioned, Chuck bringing the two cities together, and that's exactly what they're doing tonight at Bethel High School. You know, the uh, Magic, the Peninsula Magic, are jointly sponsored by Hampton and Newport News. And their season is concluded, but uh, they'll be back again next year, and we hope that you'll come out and watch them. Yeah. Here's Chuck Berry. Chuck going on the left side corner. Some of the sponsors tonight, the Great Steak, the Great Goose, Kmart, Walmart, Red Lobster. It's John Wynn. Al Bowling. To David Limerick. Lenora's Beauty Salon, Seville's Produce, Crumb's Bakery, Farm Fresh, Reuben and Harris, Grady's, Coca Cola, Pepsi -Cola and Pepsi, Bojangles, The Price Club, Krispy Kreme, and as they say, a special thanks to Paul Folks and to Tootsie Moody. And Tootsie started this whole program several years ago. And it's Baxter Simmons trying to get the third point for Hampton. He needed one to zero in. Now watch, watch this one. Nothing but net. Nothing but net. Beautiful shot. And just as 
Chuck Lesko called it. Baxter Simmons scored the third point for Hampton. It's now 14 to three. And the uh, lowest margin of the game comes with seven and a half minutes left. Randy Hilton. Mark is back in, but his honor. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's John Wynn. As is often the case, once uh, Hampton broke that. Hampton's making a run, it's 14 to five. 14 to seven now. They're making a ball game of it. There's no quit in that bunch. And after that reverse shot by David Limerick, Al Bowling scores his fourth point. 6.50 remaining in this ball game. We have a new contest. Some of the uh, committee's folks that you can get involved in are the barrier accessibility for the handicap, education and recreation both. Legislation, newsletters, and you can contact uh, the Hampton Recreation Department and Janice Arena, who's the special population coordinator. As you take a look at Randy Hilton from the city of Newport News. Uh, Phil Everhart, incidentally, is the uh, chairman of the committee, the Hampton Committee. Uh, if you want to contact him, if you have some suggestions or su would like to volunteer for some of those programs. John Wynn with the basketball. We knew John was quick and he's showing it tonight. And the ball was stolen. Nice passing, nice passing. Look at that beautiful passing. Beautiful. That was about four or five passes before they got that ball in for that layup. Score is now 16 to seven. Newport News leading. There's a phone number you can call to get involved with the handicap. And that's 727-6315. Anywhere on the peninsula, you can give that a call and get involved with this fine committee. Here's Anthony Hintz to Chuck Berry, number 23. Chuck wearing the number of Michael Jordan. We're coming to you from Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. Mayor Eason. Back on the court for Hampton. Longtime mayor of the Hampton, the city that was founded in 1610. Before our time, huh? Yeah, it's. Let's see if I have this right. It's the oldest continuously occupied English speaking city in North America. That's a tongue twister. You said it all in uh, 10 seconds. Another example of fine uh, leadership, and Randy Hilton makes it 18 to seven Newport News with just under five minutes remaining in this game. Big Al laid that in as though he knew what he was doing. 18 to nine, as you see. The 
Willie Boone taking the shot. Oh, rims out of there. Another try, a third one. David Limerick. Yeah. Willie Boone for Newport News. Here comes Chuck Berry. And coming in for Newport News, respectively, is Warren Garcia. And for Hampton, Russell Scott. It's excellent entertainment tonight on the, your TV screen, folks, as you're seeing some of the finer athletes in the wheelchairs perform. Yeah, they, they really impressed me the, with the, uh, the way they can move those wheelchairs up and down a court. The, the, the coordination is fantastic. Al Bowling misses. Here's Marty Williams. Finds Chuck Berry. And... Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> and Chuck is laughing right now. Here comes Hampton. Beautiful give and go. Beautiful. Nice pass right there from Russell Scott to David Limerick. 18 to 11 with three minutes left. I tell you, Chuck, it seems like the most success they're having from the shots are right around five feet away from the basket. Yeah, they, they, uh, especially the uh, the fellows that have or, and the gals that uh, don't do this, you know, on a on a regular basis, uh, it, that, it must be difficult to uh, for those longer shots. You don't realize how much uh, your push power comes in you know, from your legs. You're doing this uh, almost exclusively, I guess, from the waist up. That's a tremendous amount of strength. Oh, Metal Arc Eason. Now, folks, how often do you see city council people, politicians, mayors, oh, Al, athletes all come together as one? It's really a treat. It really is. That's Bill Fitzgerald. Warren Garcia for Newport News. Metal Arc Eason. And here goes Hampton on a fast break. Russell Scott. Russell saying he should have gotten fouled. <laughs> he was telling the referee, Bill Petridge, where's the call? Well, that. Oh, here, here comes Jimmy Eason. Back up with the ball. There's Mary Come on, Eason. Jimmy. Come on, come on, Metal Arc. Do it. Oh, Big Al just came in and swiped that ball. And then, then threw an air ball at the other end. Good hustle, good hustle out there. Excellent uh, moving around by Russell Scott. You know, they must Number be three. tired by now, uh, uh, but you sure couldn't tell it by the action on the floor. Well, maybe that time. Just under a minute left, and their attitude should be an inspiration to everybody. I think so. Uh, they're, they're just, uh, th this is really great. 
I remember hearing Dr. J speak a couple weeks ago at Richmond at the Colonial Athletic Association media banquet. And he said, attitude is altitude. You take your mental hopes and they'll go up as high as you want them to. Here's Al Bowling. 30 seconds, Marty Williams. The steal by John Wynn. And you can just see the strength of Al Bowling with 20 seconds left. <laughs> Mayor Easton has five seconds. Al Bowling. And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen, with Newport News winning by a score of 18 to 11. But that was a nice comeback by Hampton. It certainly was. Uh, Newport News was leading Hampton at one time, uh, 14 to nothing. And they outscored them 11 to four. So it was a moral victory for Hampton in the second half, but Newport News came ahead 18 to 11. And Mayor Eason, Randy Hilton, Marty Williams, Vince Joseph, Charlie Warnham, you know, the city council people, being a positive effect on these young people. And they really had a, a fun time tonight. And so did we, Chuck. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed this, and uh, it, it was nice getting back in the saddle again. I'm afraid I'm a, a very rusty, and I thank you for putting up with me this evening. So, once again, the final score, Newport News defeats Hampton 18-11. to Hope you enjoyed our program here tonight, and we'll talk to you soon. So, for Chuck Lesko, I'm Greg Bicaveras. Have a good night, everybody.